Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor the life of a special man, Mr. John A. Palumbo from Lexington, Kentucky, who passed away earlier this month at the age of 97. Mr. Palumbo was born in 1921 in Schenectady, New York. As a youth, he was a boxer, winning a Golden Glove, and then moved to Lexington to attend the University of Kentucky. During his time as a student, World War II was raging, and Mr. Palumbo volunteered for the United States Army Infantry First Division. Following basic training, he was sent to England to train for the D-Day invasion. He landed on Omaha Beach at H hour plus 58 minutes, actually swimming ashore when his landing boat received a direct hit and sank. He fought across Europe and received many citations for his brave service, including the World War II Victory Medal and the Bronze Star. After the war, Mr. Palumbo returned to Lexington, finished his education, married Nancy Etta, and earned a law degree from the University of Kentucky. He worked for years in the lumber business and as a Lexington developer contributed greatly to the city of Lexington. He was well respected in the business community and was active in several civic organizations. Mr. Palumbo and his fellow veterans are true heroes. As members of the greatest generation, they willingly serve to protect and defend the freedoms we, jo we enjoy today. I am humbled to honor the life of of an American hero, Mr. John A. Palumbo, before the United States Congress, and I extend my deepest condolences to his family during this time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time. For what purpose does the gentleman